Today, we've got prison breaks, flashbacks, and much, much more. I'm Hector Navarro, and this is DCTV. First up, on an all new Supergirl tonight, it's all about Lena Luthor, you guys. I'm serious, we're getting flashbacks, we're getting her family life when she was a youngin, how she interacted with young Lex. He's there, we see him, we see them playing chess. By the way, how classic Lex Luthor is that, that he's playing chess even when he was like a little kid. He's like a brilliant chess player. Of course he is, of course. And Alex introduces Maggie to everybody else. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, guys. That's so awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. Plus, Kara has to figure out if she's gonna tell Mike Matthews, AKA mon -El, that she maybe has feelings for him, maybe wants to give it a shot, maybe she thinks that she can have it all. I mean, is she gonna do it? I don't know. Uh, what happened to Jimmy Olsen, guys? Sorry, James Olsen. What happened to James? Let's maybe walk him back into the picture, huh? Or maybe how about me, Supergirl? <laughs> <laughs> When's it gonna be Hector's turn, right? I can't fly or whatever, but you know, I'm kind of funny sometimes. If you're if you, if if you're into obnoxious humor, maybe. <sighs> anyway, Lillian Luther, the mother of Lena, gets busted out of prison by none other than Metallo with a stupid beating kryptonite heart. Yeah, so she gets busted out, and everybody blames who? Lena Luther. Yep, they're like, this is a mommy daughter duo. This is what's happening. They want to try to reconnect their relationship. She's guilty. She did it. And Supergirl's like, what? She's my friend. Can I trust her? Can I trust my friend Lena? She says that she didn't do it. She says she had nothing to do with it. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Plus, the ending of tonight's episode is awesome. You guys are gonna love it. Trust me, trust me, it's a good one. And you guys are in luck. I'm gonna give you guys a two for a comic book connect right now. Two things happening in tonight's episode. A comic book connection related to both of them. Number one, a flashback to young Luthers. Number two, Metallo. I got the perfect one for you. It's called Superman Secret Origin. It is awesome. Awesome, written by Jeff Johns, art by the amazing Gary Frank. It is incredible, it is the origin of a young Clark Kent and how he becomes Superman. You've got flashbacks of young Lex. You've got him coming up with his familial situation. You've got a Metallo, John Corbin. The dude's mad because he went on one date with Lois Lane, but she never returned his calls because he's kind of a jerk. And so then Superman and Metallo have to fight. So there's your comic book connect, guys. Be sure to check it out, it's such a good comic. Watch Supergirl tonight and you're gonna be glad that you did. And on an all new episode of Arrow, Wednesday night, let me be real with you guys, right up front, this is my favorite episode of Arrow of the entire series. I'm not even kidding, I thought it was fantastic. It was fantastic. After a traumatic attack at City Hall, triggers a bunch of painful memories from Wild Dog, AKA Rene Ramirez, and causes Team Arrow to launch into a gun control debate of all things, Oliver Queen has to figure out how to solve this problem and he decides he might have to do it as Mayor Queen instead of the Green Arrow. Plus, in the flashbacks, we're getting all Rene Ramirez, AKA Wild Dog, it's awesome. We're getting his family life. We're learning how he became this family man that turned into the vigilante known as Wild Dog that we know today. It was stellar. It was so, so superbly done. I am not kidding you guys. I love this episode. It was fantastic. And in fact, I can say without a doubt, I haven't even checked in with him. This is Jason Inman's favorite episode of Arrow. I'm telling you. Plus, we've got a brand new Black Canary running around, Dinah Drake. What do we know about her? Can we trust her? Is she going to uh, be able to step up to this mantle and be the Black Canary? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that I've got an awesome comic book connection for you right now. Guys, if you want to read some more Black Canary kick-ass stuff, check out Birds of Prey, the storyline that's called Sensei and Student, issues number 62 to 67 from 2004, written by the legendary Gail Simone. It is about Black Canary traveling to China to see her sensei, who trained her, but he's fallen ill and he's dying, and she's there to pay her respects. But when she's there, she meets who? Lady Shiva. And then she's got no choice but to have to team up with Lady Shiva for this awesome adventure. It is a fantastic character piece. You guys are not gonna regret reading it. You guys are not gonna regret watching Arrow Wednesday night. Boom! Whew, guys, that was pretty heavy, but that's okay. I've got some laughs for you, some chuckles coming your way. Brand new Powerless happening Thursday night, and here's what's going on in the episode. Van's incompetence loses a very important client, so Emily takes it upon herself to try to clinch a deal with the people of Atlantis, which is outrageous! Where my Brave and the Bold fans at? Oh, where are they at? Oh man, plus a new employee named Alex starts working at the company and, and Teddy and Ron are convinced that this guy is a superhero. And I can really relate to that because I, honestly, I secretly think that everybody is a superhero. But that's probably because I work in Los Angeles and everybody here is too good looking and always busy. That's what's happening on Powerless Thursday night. The superhero, oh, I'm the civilian in the background. Oh, oh, it's me.
powerless. Okay guys, it's questions and answers time. Last week I asked you guys, what show other than Supergirl would you like to see white Martians, which are a really big deal, invade and then how would they get taken care of? And you guys wrote down some comments. Let's take a look. Alfred Pennyworth says, seeing white Martians in Gotham could be cool. Fish Mooney's metahuman army versus white Martians. Master Wayne. I feel like everything you comment has to end with Master Wayne. This week on Alfred. I was brushing some stuff and then I hit a clock and then there was a cave. Next week on Alfred, I made a sandwich and then Batman came back from fighting Mr. Freeze and I had a sandwich waiting for him. I miss, I miss the Waynes. Bruce is never around. I'm gonna convince him to adopt a young boy. So now I have somebody to spend some time with me. Oh no, he's Robin, he's never around either. My life is so sad. Shiro says Hector is secretly a white Martian. How dare you? I'm a human. Chauncey Barbosa says Hector reminds me of a sitcom character. I bet comical stuff just happens around him. KW says, God, I hate Hector. That sucks. Sorry, man. <laughs> <sighs> that guy over there says, if white Martians invaded, I would like them to act like Superman and or Batman and screw with everyone. Whew, that'd make a good story. Fig Lord Review says, the White Martians would be cool to see in Powerless. They could appear in their superhero disguises from JLA. Jordan Valdez says, I could see Heat Wave taking on some White Martians on Legends since his specialty is their weakness. I'm Heat Wave and you're all gonna burn. Nice. Cool, good comment. Hamin Karn says, that Dominic Purcell impression was spot on. Whenever I read comics, I usually try to read them in the characters' voices, but usually from cartoons, LOL. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm heat wave. I don't open my mouth all the way unless I have to. Your new question of the week for next week is, guys, it's Valentine's Day, it's coming up. <laughs> Which character from any DC TV show would you want to be your Valentine's Day date? And what would your guys' Valentine's Day date be? What would you do? Plan it out, but don't get gross with it. So go ahead and comment below. Literally, no wrong answer. Go ahead and comment. Especially you, Melissa Benoist. My name's Hector. Go ahead and comment. What would we do on our date? <laughs> Actress Melissa Benoist, who plays Supergirl. Get ice cream, right? Supergirl likes ice cream. Thanks, Flash. Thanks, Barry. Well, that's all that's happening this week, guys, but you know the drill. Head over to dccomics.com after all the episodes air for your full recaps. Thanks to our friends at the hashtag DCTV Couch Club. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.